So one takeaway unintended from this study, don't fear protein. Because even if you're eating twice as much, and they were literally eating twice as much as the control group, their insulin still dropped significantly. So awesome. don't, yeah, don't immediately just think protein's gonna be a problem. All right, now another takeaway before I get to the gist of it all, which was the hormone changes, they looked at differences in body mass. Cortisol will reduce lean mass. It will literally strip the proteins from muscles and bones, like I said earlier, to get those amino acids to feed the liver in stimulating new glucose production. So you'd think, well, if cortisol is going to be up, then they ought to be losing muscle mass. And, and on figure one, if any of you guys are able to follow this, they found that the body mass didn't change significantly in the control group, which is good. They didn't want them to change. In the, despite eating roughly the same amount of calories, though, the, the body mass did significantly change. It went down by a little over two kilograms in the diet group, in the intervention, the low-carb group. Interestingly, and, and evidence that we can never just look at body mass total, the sum of it, and know, what we're, know what's happening. We can't just look at the scale. They found that fat mass actually reduced by over three kilograms in these six weeks, and lean body mass, so muscle and bone mass, um, mostly, actually went up by over a kilogram. And it was a statistically significant difference. So this idea that I'm going to adopt a low-carb diet and, and the lack of insulin or the, you know, whatever, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make me lose lean mass. I'm not going to be able to either retain my lean mass, let alone build it. Well, they built it. They, they added a kilogram, so a little over two pounds, um, just in these six weeks without reporting any significant changes in the exercise. Ben, we can show you hundreds of clients that at Instant IQ and Elevate that we've done. Rarely do we see a decrease in muscle mass over months and months and months. And this protein. is even in the absence of them getting into the gym and oh, doing yeah, squats yeah. and deadlifts. And, they're losing, and they're, they're losing 30, 40, 50 pounds of fat. Yeah, and yeah. you think just because of decreased mass, yep. they would lose protein and they're not. Or muscle yep. mass, they're not doing it. Yep. It's just staying steady. It's yeah, and they used a DEXA in yeah. this study, which is a much, you know, that's one of the gold standards, right. really. But we're just not seeing it. And they also looked at, lastly on figure um, one, they looked at bone mineral content. And no change. There was no loss of bone mass, which is meaningful because if there's someone listening to this who is beyond middle age, especially a woman, and you're thinking, well, I want to go on a low-carb diet because I, I want to lose weight, the fear with conventional dietary intervention with you know, low fat, low calorie, sure you're losing weight, but you are losing bone mass. As in, in fact, a significant amount of lean body mass. This study suggests that that doesn't have to happen. You can lose fat exclusively while retaining bone mass and even increasing your muscle mass within this six-week study. So don't assume you, you have to have that negative that there's going to be an unintended con consequence of losing lean body mass, muscle and bone, as you lose the fat mass. That doesn't have to happen that way. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.